I came to Duke for the Marine Lab. I found out about it when I was a junior in high school, and I've wanted to do marine science since I was in middle school. It's a small community of people. There are 17 undergrads here right now, and you know half the time they're off traveling, so you really get to bond with the other undergrads, with the grad students who go on the travel courses with you. We have weekly seminars, and everyone just goes, and classes scheduled around that, and it's just so, even if you're doing a similar amount of work, you're not nearly as stressed just because you're at the marine lab. My independent study here is with penguins, and I'm counting them using imagery from the drones. Since we can fly the drones more frequently than with, and with satellites and planes, we can, with the survey data, monitor the populations a lot more closely. The results we're getting is Torgerson Island has a much smaller population, which we already knew from manpower surveys, and Avian Island is huge. There's about 1,400 penguins uh, on Torgerson Island, and there's 60,205 on Avian Island. So the difference is massive. Being in a community of people like Dave or like any of the professors I've had who just so clearly love what they're doing and want you to love what they're doing and it's so welcoming and you're an undergrad but you're in the labs, you're doing the research. No one has gotten to touch the penguin data yet and it was just, you know, thrown at me and it, that would never happen anywhere else. This semester I did a travel course. I went to St. John, um, we did independent projects for a week over there and my partner and I are trying to publish that work. We looked at how wave action or sedimentation might stress them out. We noticed that when you go to touch them, they retract it. And so we wanted to see if that was a, a stress response and also if wave action might stress them out. And ultimately we were interested in seeing if that could explain kind of the distribu the, their distribution in the bay that we were studying. I remember when our professor uh, came up to us after, kind of on our last day, we were about to take the ferry to go to the airport, and he was like, hey, I think you guys could publish what you did, and we just stared at him in disbelief and said, you're, like, that can't be real. We're undergrads, but, you know, it was, we studied mollusks, and there's a small journal on just mollusks, and we're going for it.